Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you uh, In this video, I am going to uh, take you through the journey of assessment number one for ELC 270 and the title of assessment one or the task is the presentation of organizational hierarchy and for your information this is a pair work so you need to find a partner uh, in completing this assessment okay so what is the things or the elements that you have to include in your video presentation we are uh, going to take a look at it now all right okay first the duration of the presentation is between 6 to 8 minutes so your video presentation must be between 6 to 8 minutes and the objective of the task is to expose you to the different organizational hierarchies and features of public listed companies and it is also to achieve CLO1 that is to demonstrate positive values and attributes in a professional setting and the mark allocation for this uh, presentation is 20% and I will provide you with the score sheet on what are the things that is going to be or what are the things that are going to be evaluated during your presentation okay so let's take a look at the next slide so the guidelines for your presentations there are four steps or the four elements that you should include in your presentation the first one is identifying organizational hierarchy and features through literature search mm. okay number two identifying different organizational hierarchy and features of a public listed company or a multinational company so what is a public listed company you can actually google this and after you google there will be a lot of uh, uh, a list of the companies that is public listed in our country and number three you have to describe the organization structure and number four you have to describe the products and services that is offered by the company that you have chosen okay so first identify the which company that you want to which means that in this presentation you have to make a comparison compare and contrast that is you have to find the differences and the similarities between two different organizations okay so choose two different organizations and the organizations that you choose must be a public listed company and how to find it you can uh, do a literature search of it okay now after you have identified the two companies that you are going to uh, present on then you have to identify the similarities and also the differences between the two companies okay okay let's take a look at number one identifying the organization itself through literature search so literature search is by going to the internet and using the search engines to gather information and gather materials or information on organizational hierarchy and features uh, the primary data and also the secondary data so you have to go uh, to the internet probably the website of the company that you have chosen and then take a look at the company's website and also probably if you know the company personally you can go and learn about the company uh, by going there yourself okay so it's up to you whatever works uh, for your situation right now and afterwards you review the different types of organizational hierarchy job specifications the products and also the services so not just the differences but you need to identify what are the similarities as well so if there's the types of similarities for example uh, in the organizational chart there's some some similarities or in the uh, product or the services that they offered have some sort of similarities so you cannot compare a company that has uh, only the differences but no similarities so you need to have both the differences and also the similarities between the two company that you are going to compare okay so next 
um, identifying different organization hierarchy and features of the companies itself so you recognize different organization hierarchy and features for example uh, the job specification and what are the products offered and also what are the services offered and you have to select and identify the organization hierarchy and features that is the organization chart who sits at the top and then who uh, who is at the middle part of the organization chart do they have a president do they have a CEO or CFO okay so you have to identify all that okay next you have to describe the organization structure for example the history of the company the name uh, whether it's a parent uh, company or is it a subsidiary company is it a main headquarters is it a branch and its successes uh, which means that uh, if it's a parent company or the main company so does the company has some uh, other small companies uh, below them okay and what the policy makers and the management team who are these people uh, who are the board of directors who are the CEO whether they have a general managers what are the functions and responsibilities that they have in the company and also uh, what are the various sections or departments that are available in the companies the heads and their responsibilities okay and you also have to provide an egg organizational chart as a diagram in the presentation okay and while you are using the organizational chart or while you are presenting the organizational chart so this is what you have to follow these are the rules the highest position should be at the top of the chart followed by the other positions respectively and the name of the post held by each person should be written in full abbreviations cannot be used so make sure that you have the if it's if he is the CEO what does CEO stands for okay so and also the full um, the post help must be written in full because we are learning about the types of jobs or the types of position helped by these people in the company so you cannot just give abbreviations or just the short form of the job okay so you have to give the full uh, name or it has to be fully written abbreviations or short form cannot be used all right now this is an example for number three describing organization structure uh, how to describe the organization uh, organization structure so as you can see here for example I give you an example the company Petronas so Petronas a uh, short for Petroleum National Berhad or National Petroleum Limited was founded on 17 August 1974 this organization is wholly owned by the government of Malaysia to manage and develop entire oil and gas resources in the country fortune global's 500s rank petronas as the 75th largest company in the world in 2013 additionally fortune also ranks petronas as the 12th most profitable company in the world and the most profitable in asia okay so that is uh, known for the history of the company Alright, so not yet the board of directors, the, whether the CEO or who are the management team. So let's take a look at who are the management team. Oh, before that, we are going to take a look at some of the key subsidiaries. Uh, as I said, um, what is it the parent company subsidiary, whether it has some branches under it. So under Petronas itself, there are some uh, key subsidiaries. Petronas Charigali, uh, ENP, O&M Services, Petronas Charigali Overseas, Petronas Research, Midco, Petronas Fertilizer Kedah, Petronas Methanol, okay. And the organization part, Petronas is headed by Tan Sri Wan Zulkifli Wan Arifin, the CEO of the company or Chief Executive of Operation of the company. He is closely assisted by seven vice presidents in running the company. 
okay so that is how you describe the company okay next step number four describe products and services so what are the products and services offered by the company so you can describe the business activity uh, you can describe them by um, business activities can be categorized into two the first one is product oriented business and the second one is service oriented business so product oriented business deals with goods or identifiable products so what are the products uh, is it food is it uh, you know t-shirt is it any goods uh, it has to be a thing um, so you have to explain the specification of the products for example functions the model the size the price the materials and also the ingredients if your business is about service oriented business service oriented business deals with customer participation directly explain the scope and the nature of it such as the strength of the service the proofs or the testimonies so um, service oriented business like hotel uh, hotel service or you can say barber a barber is also a service uh, based business okay alright so far I think uh, this is quite clear if you are not sure later in the next video I am going to show you some of the example or the sample of a presentation that can be done and also the company so now that I have used uh, these companies as an example I am instructing you not to use or not to choose the same company uh, as your presentation okay Alright, so I think that is all in this video. Inshallah, I'll be covering more examples of the presentation later in the next video. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Assalamualaikum and have a nice day.